Hello everyone! Welcome back to our video series on Science Investigatory Projects, or SIP for short. I'm Teacher Arlene, and today we will explore understanding related literature in Science Investigatory Projects, Episode 4. Our lesson objectives are Understand the concept of related literature in Science Investigatory Project. Differentiate between related literature and related studies and recognize the importance of related literature and related studies in science investigatory project. Why do you think it's important to know what others have discovered about a topic you're interested in? How can this knowledge help you? Understanding what others have learned can guide us in our own research, helping us avoid mistakes and build on existing knowledge. Now let's explore a key component of this process. Related literature. Related literature includes all written works, such as books, articles, and reports that provide information relevant to your research topic. It helps us understand what has already been discovered and informs our own investigations. In elementary school, when conducting a science investigatory project, Aim to include three to five pieces of related literature or studies. This number provides enough information to support your research without overwhelming your readers. Let's discuss the differences between related literature and related studies. By definition, related literature encompasses all published works on a topic, including books, articles, essays, and reviews that provide background, theories, and discussions relevant to the subject. While in related studies refer specifically to previous research projects, experiments, or surveys that investigate a particular phenomenon or question closely related to the current study. By example in related literature, imagine you want to do a science investigatory project about how plants grow. You might read, a book about the life cycle of plants that explains how seeds sprout and develop into full-grown plants an article discussing the nutrients that plants need to grow healthy and strong, and an essay exploring different types of plants and how they grow in various environments, such as deserts or rainforests. All of these written works are examples of related literature because they help you learn about plants and provide the background information you need for your project. In related study example, if you are investigating how plants grow, you might look at a research study that examined how different types of soil affect the growth of various plants, like how well beans grow in sandy soil compared to clay soil. An experiment that tested how watering frequency influences the growth of plants, such as comparing plants that are watered daily versus those that are watered every three days. Both of these related studies focus directly on how plants grow, allowing you to understand what has already been discovered in this area. The purpose of related literature is to provide a theoretical framework and context for understanding a topic. It helps to define key concepts and summarize existing knowledge. When we read related literature, we can learn what other people have discovered about our topic. This helps us know what is already known and what we might need to investigate further. While the purpose of related studies is to present empirical evidence, findings, and results from prior research that are directly applicable to the current investigation. It helps to identify gaps in knowledge or corroborate findings. These studies provide real evidence and findings from scientists or researchers who have looked into the same questions we have. By looking at related studies, we can see what has already been learned and what might still need to be discovered. By content types, related literature includes broad discussions, theories, and general insights about a subject matter. It may not present experimental results or specific data. This means it might not have exact numbers or specific results from experiments, but it helps us see the bigger picture. While in related studies, it includes specific findings, methodologies, and results from research experiments. It often contains quantitative or qualitative data related to the study's topic. This means related studies give us clear evidence about what has been discovered through experiments. By scope, related literature covers a wider range of information and perspectives related to a topic. 
This could include historical context, theoretical frameworks, and varied viewpoints. This information helps you understand your topic better. While in related studies, focuses narrowly on particular studies that investigate similar questions or variables. It compares and contrasts results that are directly relevant to the current research question. Related studies often compare different experiments. This helps you see what worked and what didn't. If we use an SIP, related literature, helps to establish a foundation for the research project by summarizing what is already known and identifying the significance of the current study. While in related studies, it provides a direct comparison to the current research, showcasing how it builds upon or differs from previous findings. This comparison helps justify the relevance of the new study. Why Related Literature and Related Studies Important in Science Investigatory Project? So, let's discuss the importance of related literature and related studies. A knowledge base related literature helps you learn background information about your topic. While in related studies, it shows specific experiments done on similar topics. An understanding concept in related literature, it explains important ideas and theories in science while in related studies, it provides results from past experiments to compare. In terms of experiment design in related literature, it guides how to plan your own experiment. It shows what to consider and what to include, while in related studies it offers methods and materials others use successfully. In terms of different perspective in related literature, it shows various opinions from scientists and researchers. You'll find various opinions from scientists and researchers about your topic. This helps you see the topic from different angles. While in related studies it highlights different results to encourage critical thinking. Learning from others. In related literature, it teaches you about progress in understanding your topic. While in related studies, it helps you avoid mistakes others made in their experiments. Finally, supporting your conclusions. In related literature, it helps you explain your findings in relation to what is known. While in related studies, it aids in understanding what your results mean compared to previous studies. Let's explore. Today we're going to have some fun while learning. Get ready for an exciting challenge called Literature vs. Studies Showdown. Your teacher will prepare a set of cards, eight cards, for each group, containing the same statement or description related to related literature or related studies. Your teacher will divide the class into small groups, four to seven students per group. Each group will be given a set of cards, and they need to categorize them into two columns, related literature, and related studies. Teacher will set a timer for 10 minutes. The group that finishes first with the correct answer will win the game. Finally, your teacher will check and process the output. Here's the content of the cards for related literature and related studies. What strategies did your group use to decide whether a card belonged to related literature or related studies? Were there any cards that you found difficult to categorize? Why? Which card surprised you the most and why? How can you apply what you've learned today to your own science investigatory project? Let's recap. Now let's recap what we've learned about related literature and related studies and why they're so important for our science investigatory projects, or SIPs. Related literature includes all the written works on our topic, such as books, articles, and essays. It provides us with valuable background information, theories, and insights. This helps us understand the bigger picture of our research and builds a strong theoretical foundation for our projects. Related studies are specific experiments or research projects that have been conducted on topics similar to ours. They offer concrete examples and findings that we can compare with our own investigations. This is crucial because it provides us with empirical evidence that guides our experiments and supports our conclusions. 
Both related literature and related studies are essential for making our science investigatory projects well-informed and effective. They equip us with the knowledge and evidence we need to enhance our understanding and strengthen our research outcomes. Let's evaluate. It's time to test your knowledge and see if you really understand today's lesson. Read each question carefully and write the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your research notebook and submit it to your research teacher for checking. I hope you all found the test manageable and were able to showcase what you've learned. Remember, it's not just about getting all the answers right, but understanding the concepts behind them. Take a moment to reflect on the questions you found easy and those that were a bit more challenging. If you got all the answers correct, that's fantastic. If not, don't worry, every test is an opportunity to learn. You can review your answers and discuss any questions you might have with your research teacher. Remember, every piece of information you gather brings you one step closer to success. As we continue, always keep in mind that great research stands on the shoulders of what others have discovered before us. As we end, I want to leave you with this thought. Knowledge is built step by step, and the path of discovery becomes clearer when we learn from the past. Embrace the journey of discovery and let the wisdom of those who came before you illuminate your path in research. Thank you for your hard work today. Keep up the great effort as we continue our journey in understanding related literature and studies in our next episode. Guidelines for writing your related literature and related studies in science investigatory projects.